Hello, welcome audience. Let's get introduction to PHP. Generally, we used to learn many computer programming languages. What kind of applications that we can develop using these programming languages, platforms or frameworks? Generally, there are two types of application. First one, client side or standalone or desktop application. It means we are writing a program on the same machine and executing on the same machine. Second type of application that we can design is server side or web based or which is also known as an internet application. It means we can write such a program or develop such an application that will be using concept of client server or using internet and it can be used all over the world by anyone. Desktop applications like these are Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Photoshop, all standalone application that we are executing on our local machine. And web application means websites, our emails, Facebook, Outlook, etc. Which languages are used for web development? There are many languages and platforms are available in the market that are used for website application development. Like WordPress is most popular for website development and PHP. Then we can develop many application using .NET framework. Java is most popular because of its features. Now Android app development is also done. We can use Python. AI, ML languages, etc. Now, what is PHP? Basically, in the earlier or at the time of origin, Rasmus Lerdorf has uh, given a name to PHP. Its acronym was Personal Home Page. He has developed or started working on this language to maintain his own personal website. PHP is nothing but the scripting language which we can include or embed in HTML tags for developing web-based applications. Now, why we can go for PHP? Why we should select PHP as a website development or web-based application development platform or language? PHP offers a variety of features. PHP is an open source language we can include this PHP code or script in HTML tags. It is loosely type language because it uh, gives a very flexibility when we type the code or when we write the code. PHP is most secure language because it uh, is having the concept of OOP, object oriented programming. PHP is a platform independent language. PHP ha is having a support to many web servers like Apache, IIS, etc. PHP is supporting many database application to connect as a backend to front-end application like MySQL, MariaDB, Sybase, Postgres, etc. And PHP's syntax is as similar to C language syntax. So it is giving a best help for developing the web applications. Now, what can be created with PHP? We can write a simple PHP script or standalone code for executing small basic core applications using PHP. HTML forms along with PHP script can be used for designing a graphical user interface. Many databases can be connected as a backend while using PHP. It supports variety of databases, MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, Oracle, etc. So in a simpler language, 
PHP can be used for creating dynamic web applications. Now what tools we need for writing the PHP code? As it is a web based language, obviously we need browser for executing the code. We can have online PHP compiler for executing the PHP code or script that are written for executing the basic small task. We can have XAMPP server. These three things are required. Now, what is XAMPP? XAMPP is a cross-platform Apache, MySQL, PHP, Perl. It is one of the tool available online with free of cost. And it is a package consisting of three things. Apache web server, MySQL database connectivity, Perl and PHP parsers. So it is a one tool supporting all these many things. So installing this one software, we can write code, we can connect to any database and we will have our Apache local server, server on the same machine as well. Now we will start writing the PHP code and we'll learn how to write PHP code by using these two options, online PHP compiler and using XAMPP server that we will see in next section. Thank you.